Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and as you probably know Apple has released the newest beta to iOS 18.1 Now Apple is actually moving pretty fast with the betas of iOS 18.1 and adding some really amazing features that we really needed to see on iOS 18. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of these amazing new features that we just got with the new release of iOS 18.1. And of course, we're going to talk about all this update and what to expect in the near future. Now, first of all, let's take a look at this update right here. So you can see the iOS 18.1 beta 5 is here at around 838 megabytes that is of course always different on different devices and it will also be different based on which software you're updating from to ios 18.1 beta 5. if you're updating from beta 4 then you will have a way smaller an update but of course if you're updating from ios 18 to ios 18 beta 18.1 beta 5 then it will be quite a huge update now the build number for this update will be 22B5054E. That E at the end of the build number indicates that we will see a few more betas before this update gets released to the public, but we're going to talk about that in a minute now. Let's first go ahead and talk about the new features that Apple has added to iOS 18 with the fifth beta. Now, first of all, we're talking about one of my favorite features of iOS 18.1, the ability to talk and type to Siri at the same time whenever you want. So as you probably know, with iOS 18.1, you can just double tap right here at the bottom and you will be able to type anything you want to Siri. And now with 18.1, Apple has actually made some improvements here. So whenever you're typing something, the suggestions that it will give you right here will actually changed based on what you're typing so it won't just show you like a few suggestions and they stay like that they will actually update as you're typing right here so you can see it updates and it changes to other suggestions and now on the notes app you will have right here the tools you will also have the icon for apple intelligence that's really welcomed and anytime you type a text and you actually select it, you will be able to use that tool. Tapping right there, it will of course show you all the writing tools that Apple Intelligence has to offer from proofread to basically rewriting everything else that the Apple Intelligence writing tool will bring to your keyboard. Now, what's really cool about this is that it might come to other places as well, maybe to iMessage and things like that, where you really need to have quick access to the writing tools that should be very, very welcomed. Now, talking about Apple Intelligence, we also have a smaller update here on the settings app. We now have the dark mode icon for Apple Intelligence. It's right here on the settings app page. And also when you get into the Apple Intelligence and Siri settings, you will all see also see a dark mode icon which looks really nice another change here on the settings app whenever you go to display and brightness now you will see that the previews for the wallpapers right there have now been changed and they have been updated to match the iOS 18 wallpapers. A really cool feature with iOS 18.1 beta 5 is the ability to drag and drop when you're mirroring your iPhone to your Mac. So you will be able to drag and drop files from your iPhone to your Mac or from your Mac to your iPhone whenever you're using the mirroring feature that Apple offers with iOS 18, which allows you to actually mirror your iPhone screen to your Mac. And here we go with my favorite feature of iOS 18.1 beta 5 and probably one of the top features of this update. We're finally able to add toggles, individual toggles for connectivity, not just the widget that we used to have before. Now you can have individual toggles for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also your VPN and every other like toggle that we have right here. Now, some of them have been here before. We got here the VPN, the Wi-Fi, and the Bluetooth now with 18.1, and it's actually much, much better than having that widget, that widget actually for connectivity. So you can just go ahead and tap right here to go to the edit mode and then add a control. And whenever you go right here, 
you will see we have Wi-Fi and VPN that now can be added to the control center. So you don't need to add this. This was the old one where you have all these together combined there. But if you don't prefer that, you just want to see individual toggles for each of them, then you can just add them one by one here to your control center. Now, when talking about the control center, we also have a very nice change here. We have now a reset button for the control center. This is also a very welcome change. So basically, whenever you go to your control center and customize it, add different toggles, change things, if you feel like you're not liking it and you just want to get the default control center back, all you have to do is just come to settings, go under control center right here, and you will be able to reset the control center to its default layout. And we also have a few new shortcuts on the shortcuts app with iOS 18.1. First of all, we have show control center. This shortcut will bring down the control center for you. Now, what you can also do is tap right there and choose to hide or choose to toggle. Now, if you choose one of these, if you choose show, of course, the action will only show the control center or you can choose to only hide or toggle, which means that it will bring it down and get it out of your screen every time you press the button. Now, what's really cool is that you can assign that to the action button and then you can use the action button to quickly bring down your control center. We also have another one to pay the Apple card. So you will have it right here, pay Apple card. It's on amount, you can tap right there and you can choose to cur current monthly balance, minimum payment, other amount as well. So you can just go ahead and switch to these and when you switch to the other amount, you can actually manually add the amount for yourself. And we have another one for the health app. So open view right here for the health app. You can just go ahead and pick here any section of the health app. Anything you want, like any category of the health app you want to open, you can do that now with shortcuts. And of course, you can create multiple shortcuts for multiple categories of the health app. And now let's talk about the battery. So battery life on iOS 18.1. Now, in my experience, comparing it to iOS 18, the beta stages that we went through on iOS 18, it's my, maybe a slightly, slightly better here with the last couple of betas, of course, the initial betas with the Apple intelligence features, they required quite a lot of CPU power and of course consume a ton of battery. But here we have the last few days. So we're here at about 90%, nine hours, 29 minutes, right here again, about 90%, seven hours, two minutes, right here, we have about 130% 16 hours 15 minutes and then we have a few more here about maybe like 80% battery 7 hours 29 minutes and keep in mind that this battery is at 91% health so it's not the best ever but again the battery life is quite okay in my opinion with iOS 18.1 and of course we're still on betas and we can expect that to improve in the next few days and of course with the release of the next betas and then the final release of iOS 18.1. And now let's talk performance. Now here we have the Geekbench score for iOS 18.1 beta 5. And compared to iOS 18.1 beta 4, we can see right here the single core score has increased quite a lot. So we have a score of 2,959 with beta 5, while beta 4 was more than 100 points down 2,838. While we can see a slight decrease here on the multi-core score, 6,994 for beta 5, while beta 4 was at 7,017. So a pretty nice performance and also it's actually quite stable. So very good performance when it comes to iOS 18.1 betas. So what's next? As you probably know, Apple has stated that they're releasing iOS 18.1 and the new Apple intelligence features in October. Well, I would expect them to release another beta on the 30th of September, and I expect that them actually to release a couple of more betas before they release the RC version. Probably on the 7th somewhere or the 8th, we will see another beta, which should be beta 7, and then the RC version, some place right here is like the 15th or maybe 16th of October and then the 21st or the 22nd of October should be the dates when we get iOS 18.1 released to the public. 
So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 18.1 Beta 5, an amazing update. Some really nice features have been added. And of course, we can't wait to see what Apple has in store for this update because we have quite a few weeks left until the public release. So that is it. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.